you guys are so busy always. You you actually have your own design studio. You have a thriving business. You also have your own furniture line. What's what's one thing that's still on the bucket list for this dynamic duo? You also have two beautiful children. But what's on this what's one thing that's next for you? And it could be in the next five or the next ten, but what's the big get? Oh, that's a good mm. question. Babe, you go first. I, you know what? I have to tell you, um, Bevy, I, I turned 50 this year. And <gasps> oh, my that, God. Look, I knew you when you were a boy. I know. I met you in Milan in <laughs> 1902. Exactly. Um, but I, but I, I, don't, I, I don't have anything on the bucket list. I am so happy with everything that I've had the opportunity to do. I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to do this show with my husband and my family. Um, you know, I believe like things come very organically and, mm -hmm. and maybe someday I'll do, you know, another book. Maybe we'll do more products. Maybe we'll do more TV. Maybe who knows? But, you know, as it stands right now, I, I'm, I'm in a place of like just real contentment and gratitude. I love that. What about you, Jeremiah? Okay. Um, I mean, I, you know, I'm always, I'm always ready. I, I'm writing a book right now, which I'm very excited about. Um, Congrats. About, thank you about home. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know, next year I'm going to, I've got some fun things planned for maybe a retail experience or trying to, you know, I'm really trying to figure out a way to get people to look at home from an entirely different perspective. Again, like the, the, the genesis of the show is less transactional, more personal, a return to craftsmanship and heirlooms and things that matter to people and, you know, spaces that matter. So I'm always, I'm excited about exploring that more. 